Hey everyone, so we are in a way to give a final touch to our product microservice. So we have written the unit test cases and integration test cases in the previous videos. This video, I am going to explain you the importance of code coverage. What is this all about? And what is the importance of this one in the case of microservices architecture? So let me ask a question from you. This is the product microservice. Uh, this is the source code that we have that you all know this is the test uh, test files that we have written controller where we have written the integration test cases this is the service where we have written the unit test cases so these are the real time use cases that we are thinking that user is going to perform these are the integration test cases and unit test cases are supposed to cover the real time unit test so that when user is hitting it and there is uh, there is uh, there is not any unwanted use case that we do not know is occurring to our service so that we can uh, we can test against those uh, real time scenarios that is why we write the test cases now the next question is that how many test scenario how many how many real time use cases uh, can happen in this uh, in this product microservice if i take you here so what can happen this with add product so add product whenever user is calling this add product by passing the product uh, product uh, information that will be converted to the product object and that will be validated against this one this validation whatever we have put here okay and then it is going to call the service method here uh, what when it is called the flow is going to be like this uh, there is no other option right if it this condition is true we are going to get this exception or if this is true we are going to get this exception and if if all things are fine it is going to be saved into the system so these are the scenarios so the my question here is that uh, while writing the unit test cases and integration test cases we should try to cover all these cases and after completing those we should try to see that how many scenarios we have covered and how many not how, how many not so at the time of uh, writing the microservices from scratch when you are writing the test cases it is easy like uh, it is easy and you can say that we you have covered all these test cases but when we you have uh, more and more microservices more and more business logic manually checking that how many scenarios are covered and how many scenarios we are missing from this one uh, to answer this one it is difficult when you have lots of code so code coverage that i am trying to explain here in this video is going to answer this one this is all about the number of line of code number of fls number of use cases that we have written in our product microservice all right there is a automated way that we can evaluate that how many lines are not covered and how many lines are covered so this is where code coverage comes into picture this video i am going to show you how you can integrate code coverage and uh, and calculate this one uh, the coverage percent here so there is a tool there is a plugin handy plugin that is named as jacoco it is for java code coverage so if you have any java application you can integrate jacoco with your application and you can get a, a code coverage real quick so with the spring boot what you have to do you have this build.gradle all right and it has one plugin that id you have java right and in the same way we have one plugin that is jacoco that's it when we have added this and just refresh this part here you just refresh this one so it is going to download the jacoco specific uh, dependencies to our uh, to our project class path and it is going to add some tasks like we have java so we have task to uh, build and compile the uh, compile the project right so the way in the same way when we added java it has added couple of tasks for us under verification so if you see it test was already there these two were added by this jacoco plugin so i just have to run this jacoco test report and it is going to give me uh, it is going to calculate all the all the coverage all the lines and all those things so how it is working i'm going to explain you in a while but let first let me execute this task here so clear this part here so gradle first uh, 
बिफोर रनिंग द जको को रिपोर्ट टास्क ऑल द टेस्ट केस शुड बी रनिंग अलॉन्ग विद दैट वन सो दिस इज द टेस्ट एंड अदर वन आई जस्ट हैव टू नेम दिस टास्क हियर जको को टेस्ट रिपोर्ट and just enter this one so it is going to run all the test cases and so how it is working so jacoco when you have this library so when you all or your all the test cases are being executed so jacoco from the back it instruments all the codes all right so that it it keeps record of uh, while uh, for example if i show you uh, if i say that this is the uh, this is the product service test and this test is being executed this test is being executed here so list all products it is going to execute so uh, the test is executing this test cases and jacoco is instrumenting this code so jacoco will see that here yeah i have got here products it has uh, covered this line and when products is returning uh, empty so product is empty and product not found exception is thrown so yeah it will be returned from here or jacoco will keep record of this line that this line is covered and while execution of other while executing the other test one uh, that we have uh, list all products where it auto, it actually passes this condition it returns something and it returns the product so it keeps record of that one so now it knows that list all products have covered completely here so that this is what it shows in the report itself right so let me show you that report actually so this task is executed properly so where this report is stored so if you come to build here and you see the different folders jacoco folder is there so test executable it is going to create that so internally uh, it we are interested in this report part here so come to this section here html part and these are the couple of folders it has created and see the index.html and see this part and if you open this 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 is the detailed information that it has given us so dto config filters controller product product service and all those things so here while looking at this report you first focus on the business logic where our business logic is so our business logic is in service package so come here open this we have this product service you see coverage is 100% here if you open this you are going to see all the details here method wise so under add product one branch is missed here and if you open it you are going to see the detail about so update product delete list we have covered all the scenarios about this one so if i open this one this class here so here it is saying that it is partially one of four branches missed right so it is uh, this is the one scenario that i have to cover here so you can while looking at the test cases you can see that get price equal to 0 and get discount greater than 0 so which scenario is missed okay so we got the offer not valid exception there are different cases right so whether uh, where price is 0 and discount must be greater than 0 only then we are going to get the offer not valid exception all other scenarios are covered properly okay and come back and inspect other one we have here controller part here so it is 87% cover here so if i open this one yeah so all the things are covered here but this product category list we forgot to write the test case for this one so we can th see this report here it is red line here and now i can go ahead and create the test for this one so i'm not going to write the test cases but this is the report that you should examine before sending the application to production and see this report so actually the company i am working on and usually when you are integrating this code coverage so there is certain threshold about code coverage that you should measure you should uh, get get right so here it is giving me the 51% coverage so somewhere it is 80% somewhere it is 90% 100% code coverage is like uh, uh, not possible we can get that but that's some more effort and we should not focus on 100% so 90% 80% is sufficient and now coming to you can see all other so so dto config filters and all those thing you can open it and inspect it and see which lines are covered and which lines are not covered so whatever you think important that this line should be covered you decide the uh, you see that how you can cover that in the unit test cases and create the new unit test case for that one so that's the entire funda about the code coverage and this is the matrix that we get it this way and if you want to know the more detail i already have created the detail uh, 
detailed video about this code coverage already under the microservices testing series if you come to this link here and if you see find this one code coverage here a couple of months back i uploaded this video while covering the unit test cases so if you see this you will get that information in detail here so if i show you the actual definition of this one yeah code coverage is measurement of how many lines blocks of your codes are executed while the automated tests are running so you watch this video if it is completely clear uh, that's perfectly fine then you are uh, if you want more detail i have explained you here in this video with the diagram also and with an example so if you want to get more uh, discussion more you want to listen more about code coverage so you go ahead and check out this video itself I'll give the link in the description box itself you can, uh, or you can just go ahead and search for the code coverage in green learner okay you will get this link here so that's all about the code coverage that I wanted to explain in this video I hope you liked it and found it useful so if so please don't forget to subscribe the channel and share this with your friends I'll see you in the next video till then take care stay safe bye bye